Oh my god. Hey, how is everybody doing today? We're going to be pulling shards. We're trying to complete the R Mons fusion, and we're going to do it by any means necessary. I'm going to do my best to not pull actual shards that have been saving and stockpiling. We're going to try to circumvent uh, getting the 3,000 points that we need. By the way, how do you guys like this this new camera? You guys can actually see how my, my real skin looks like. And I've also slicked back my hair because my wife does not like it when my hair is slicked back, but I figured, you know what? Let's uh, let's slick it back for this video, for this shard pull video. Now, to complete the um, Champion Chase tournament event, not complete it, but at least to get the Deathkeeper fragments, we're going to be needing 3,000 points. I do have the fragments for Deathkeeper right here. I also have Zenogre Blade Master that I've been saving. So that's what, 500 points right there. And Gronjar, the Doom Tower champion that I can fuse together. Um, that's another 500 points. So I'm really only worrying about 2,000 points. Let's go ahead and pull uh, Summon Deathkeeper here and see how many points we get off the rip. And there he is, Deathkeeper. I've been hearing some good things about him. Good things, good things indeed. 350. I've been seeing Bronco has been doing good content um, for for anybody who's wanting to just get Deathkeeper. Uh, you should check him out for sure. Uh, a lot of compositions coming out, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've, I've seen Hydra, Phantom Shogun, so check that out. And that was let's see, 700, right? Can I math properly? So we're right there. Let's keep going. We're going to pull from the Prism Shards now, and the only new champion that I see here is this one right here, Fina, or Finna, Blade of Arabia. I don't know what she does, but I did see her in Arena. I noticed that she was new because my wife and I recently did a Smash or Pass video, and even she was like, who is this? She was not on our video. I did not get to say Smash. That's what she said. My wife. She's got the High Elves banner on the back. Attacks one enemy, has a 70% chance of increasing the cooldown of a random skill on target by two turns. When counterattacking with this skill, team up with a random ally. The ally joining the attack will use their default skill. That's pretty cool. I like that. 70% chance on an A1 with counterattack involved and ally attack. Places a block debuffs, a block damage, and a counterattack buff on an ally for two turns. This is on a three turn cooldown, that's pretty nice. If the target of this skill is not this champion, resets the cooldown of all targets skill. Again, now we have uh, this bombardment of faction bonuses. I guess they're testing out more champions that have a unity um, synergy and trying to see how they take, or how the people take to it. Places increase attack, increase crit rate, and then increase damage on all allies for two turns. Three turn cooldown, we like three turn cooldowns. Four turns is kind of pushing it, but we'll take three turn cooldowns. How many books do you need? Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, eight, eight books is pretty good. Whenever she uses this skill and there's one faction ally, she's going to grant herself an extra turn. And then if there's two high elves on the same team, before placing buffs, removes all debuffs from all allies. That's pretty nice. If there's an entire team, like an arena, four high elves in one team, Buffs placed by this skill cannot be removed, they're protected. And then whenever a buff is placed on an ally, fills their turn meter by 3%. Okay, there's another one, this is a passive. Allies deal 25% more damage when attacking out of their active turn, because she does the ally attack. And then here we have two faction allies, whenever a buff is removed or stolen from an ally or when it expires, fill their turn meter by 10%. And then the third is allies will ignore 5% of a target's defense for each buff on them. And then of course we got 20% boost to ally speed and then increase ally crit rate in all battles by 15%. She's got a lot going on. I don't think I would be too excited to pull her if I'm being completely honest. It's cool. It seems fun, but it also seems like I would need to build an entire team dedicated to high elves. And while that in it of itself might be a cool concept if I have nothing else to do, it's just not something that I see myself doing. I don't know who I would even even use. Like, who's in the High Elves that I would use? Uh, let's see here. Of course, Arbiter. Speed team right there. Supreme Elhane. Maybe maybe Ethos. Y you know what I mean? Uh, but for endgame plat, like, there's not too many people in the High Elves that I would probably use. You know what I mean? Supreme Elhane's pushing it. 
Mm. Yeah. So she wouldn't be doing much for me, if I'm being honest with you guys. I would not be too excited to pull her, but let's go ahead and finally pull this shard. Uh, sorry for the delay, I wanted to catch up and talk about that, but let's go ahead. What do we get from the prison shard? And first pull of the day gets us an epic, and Dahlia... Isn't she part of the Makagi fusion? Oh, I already have her. Damn it. I guess I can keep this one, because this one I already blessed. So we'll we'll uh we'll build this one out. Still missing Centurion. And end a moonbeam. So now let's go ahead and see where we're at. Now we still got some ways to go. Which means we're gonna go ahead and pull the uh, people sitting in where is it? people sitting in my uh, my fragment. Uh, let's make sure we're in international zero. That's where I hang out now. Let's go ahead and pull. By the way, where are you guys with your high mother maud fragments? I'm at 35. Been saving up for quite some time. I don't. I still don't understand the cooldown for the chest. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's not like we're gonna get it right away anyway. Let's go ahead and start off. Oh, I almost clicked exchange. I'm pretty sure they would have asked me. Let's go ahead and summon. We get Zenogre, Blade Master. I finally think I can do a uh, video on her. I've been seeing people use her in things like um, the Scarab King. Uh, Gavin Master's Raid did a video on, on her in the Scarab. And I've seen her in Hydra. I've seen her in Fire Knight. I haven't seen too much of her, to be honest. But we're going to do a champion guide on her. I've got the thumbnail right here prepared and ready to go look out for that one if you guys want to see that i'm not going to go over her skills because i'm about to do a video on her let's go ahead and summon grand jar and uh wh what time is it it's 1700 which means it reset and there's going to be a delay here we go the dwarf himself i don't know what he does i don't know if he's good or not i don't think i've ever seen him or have uh heard him talk talked about he hasn't been talked about that that i know of and that usually indicates that he's not much to, to speak about. He's He looks cool. He looks cool. Half broken sword right there. It's a giant sword. What are the reviews? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my. Why is he so bad? Two hitter with a 40% chance of increasing the duration of HP burns, HP based champion. Two hitter. 100% chance of removing any block buffs. Second hit has a chance of removing one random buff except block debuffs. AoE, 100% chance on a four turn cooldown to place HP burn. Fills turn meter by 5% for every HP burn debuff the enemy team had before this attack. Passive, three turn cooldown. This champion will not receive any damage from HP burn debuffs. Instead, HP burn debuffs will heal this champion by 5%. Max HP each time the debuff activates. Whenever an enemy attempts to place a freeze, debuff on this champion instantly removes it and places it on the attacker. Also places HP burn on the attacker, and it can't be resisted. I. It just... I don't know. It, it doesn't seem... Like, he looks cool. You get him from Doom Tower. The thing is, what he does, one kind of feels weird. It feels like they just scrapped some stuff together and we're like, you know, this could be a legendary champion. But here's the thing, guys. It's from Doom Tower. And it's not like it's the first legendary champion that you get from the Doom Tower. The point is you get him very late. As, as a very late endgame player, I'm not going to use him for anything. There's no need for him. All right, so we're right there. And of course, we're still a thousand points away. I'm not going to have the shards. For the mis uh, I'm not going to have enough mystery shards to close the gap, and there's nothing else I can pull that I've been saving, so what we're going to have to do is pull our void shards, guys. We're pulling our voids. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll start off hot with a 10 pop. And, oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, I don't actually know how to feel about Supreme Kale. I don't know how to feel about him. Is he is he a good champion? I I've heard mixed things about him. AoE weaken. Poison AoE. Uh, increased duration of all enemy debuffs. Can't be resisted. 
AoE increased accuracy. That's not really useful. 100% chance to place decreased res. Fills turn meter for each decreased res. And then decrease target's accuracy, crit rate, and crit damage by 3% for each poison on them. Uh, what are the reviews? What does the Carfax say? Uh, he looks cool. I remember when they released the, the four um, Supreme Pizzas. Uh, the four Supreme Starters. And, um, like, I thought he was the one that I wanted, but I, I don't know. I don't know if he's good or not. Can somebody tell me if he's good or not? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, the, the, the issue is I don't know what if, if I should feel happy or, or feel uh, sad. I, I, I kind of wanted a Siffy. I was expecting an Acrisia. But, you know, we'll, we'll uh, I guess we'll have to settle for this, and we're there. We, we got it. And, uh, yeah. I, 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 sheesh. We, we got a legendary. We got a legendary, guys. Let's go ahead and pull, like, four more. Let's just do it. Four more pulls. It's a new legendary. I'm gonna take it. Well, obviously, I'll take it. see here and then one more Let's see where we get and we get this alia life braid but yeah here we are we're so close to that lego book no no we're gonna stop right now oh boy But there it is, guys, our three new legendaries. In all seriousness, though, is this guy good or not? Nah?